they are unemployed. Yes, there is no place where they can be graced. But we as a government, we, we, we are having, uh, if it is not the, the communal area, commercial farms that are bought by the government. So my opinion was to make sure that these youth members are having the goals and thereafter it will be our responsibility as the Council of the Constituency plus the Ministry of Land Settlement to see to it what can we do. As the majority of the beneficiaries are in the youth category, Nguvauba says those goats were given as an incentive and that they need not reimburse his office or the sponsors. This is a first of its kind under the special initiative program. The constituency councillor added that there is nothing that his office can do on reports that people continue to sell their livestock to avoid them crossing into neighbouring commercial farms. Even before that, weeks after they received this, they start selling them. We rushed there, we indicated to them. It was not a matter of that there was no grazing place. Even if you say, as you say that you were there, you can see their conditions. Conditions are very good. While we are saying there is no place where they can graze, in the corridors. Very good. Yes, sometimes when they are getting into the farms of the commercial farmers, they are fined. It's wrong, but there is nothing that we can do. Nonetheless, Kiles Guvauva also revealed that some residents at the settlement would soon be resettled to another farm in the Omaheke region once his office submits outstanding ID documents of those identified. Blanche Corre says NBC News, Omitara Settlement, Omaheke region.